Welcome to section two, part one of the SAM certification training. In this section, we will look at the key concepts of SAM, meaning understand the key terms and concepts of software asset management. The learning objectives are, you will be able to describe the concepts of the best practices of software asset management, alignment of the SAM and IT service management, good governance and SAM, risk, cost and compliance, and license types. You will also be able to identify the stakeholders in the SAM ecosystem and explain the different types of customers. And finally, be able to explain the concept of the SAM life cycle, understand how to organize for SAM and explain the roles and responsibilities. ITEM.org has developed this SAM best practice to clarify what SAM is. This best practice SAM has been created to reach its goals as efficiently as possible. This best practice can be tailored to fit any organization, regardless of its size. SAM is an important part of IT service management as well and must be understood in this context. The SAM database is a logical part of the configuration management system, which supports all the IT service management strategy. First of all, why we need software asset management? We see in this picture, the concept of value creation, risk management, software investment, business processes, software suppliers, and cost control. Let us understand what these really are. There are two major perspectives which support why software asset management is needed. Firstly, to protect your investments in software, which create business value. And that means cost control is how we can optimize the investment. Secondly, it's about risk management, which will protect your business when using software, making sure you're keeping your software up updated. Which means software has to be managed and controlled. Software needs to be protected and either with the purpose of protection of the value or for protection of the supplier's intellectual property, meaning the software vendor. And if it is self-developed, then that should also be protected. We have here the definition of SAM governance. In this picture, you will see the corporate at the top and the IT at the bottom, the IT supporting the various business units and the corporate governance, which comes from the top and it has to be complied with all the departments below it, all the functions in the hierarchy from the top to bottom of an organization. The corporate level deals with the corporate vision, mission, strategy, goals, legal responsibilities, at the business unit level, we have the business unit vision for each BU, the mission strategy and the goal of that individual business unit. And at the IT level, we have the IT vision, mission strategy and the goals. You also see here, IT has its IT governance, corporate has its corporate governance. So there are, as they say, the cascading of governance from the topmost layer to the bottommost layer of any organization. So good corporate governance ensures that policies and plans are being implemented and supported by processes which are being followed and includes defined rules and responsibilities that are allocated and accepted within the organization. The focus is on continuous improvement based on monitoring and reporting of progress. Good governance is also when IT can show how it supports business operations and innovation. Governance therefore defines a common direction policies and regulations that business and IT jointly implement. Governance also evaluates, monitors, and manages the strategy, policies, and plans of the entire organization. IT governance in particular, if you think about it from software perspective, the role of software and its importance has changed dramatically in recent years. Software has become a critical business asset today, must be managed in the same way. Software asset management therefore has become an imperative or a mandate and not an option. Software licenses are company assets. Without those licenses, business management expose their business to unnecessary legal and financial risk. IT governance therefore is about supporting the business in its cost allocation, optimization and minimization of risk. The success of a software asset management strategy is dependent on its alignment to the overall governance structure which provides guidance to build up structures and processes according to how they want the organization to work. Governance of software asset management 
is applicable to a constantly managed approach at all levels of the organization. It begins with clear, setting a clear software management strategy followed with policies to deliver the strategy to an agreed scope. Look at the objective of governance and sponsorship. It ensures that responsibility for management of software assets is recognized at a corporate board level or at an equal body. Also, it ensures that appropriate mechanisms are in place to ensure the proper discharge of this responsibility. We now have here the four dimensions of ITAM. Organization and people, partners and suppliers, information and technology, processes and value. If you are familiar with ITIL 4, you would know that ITIL 4 has the four dimensions of service management, which are exactly the same, organization and people, process and value, partners and suppliers, information and technology. Which means uh, organizations should have a holistic view of all aspects of their behavior to create value. Processes, on the other hand, should be implemented across the organization and should support the SAM team to create value. Information and technology dimension should handle SAM data through SAM relevant tools to create value. And partners and suppliers should be controlled and managed through reliable contracts to create value. At the center, we have the box indicating value of the software and functionality, which depends on the value derived from these four dimensions. As an example, a software process improvement may be planned without proper consideration for the people, partners and technology involved or technology solutions may be implemented without attention to the process or people they are supposed to support. It means that all the four dimensions are essential in any SAM program in order to get the best value from SAM. 